Hello and welcome back to the Misfits Podcast. <laughs> Rated five. St- are you are you fine? Are you good? Are you dead? Things- oh, so I gotta take you a good drink. there. Oh, okay, we'll wait for you. Yeah, there we yeah. go. Okay, I'm, I'm good. I'm good now. We're not we're not fucking recording or anything. Rated asshole. rated five stars <laughs> on iTunes. Okay, you you're still kind of you're doing a bit of a thing here where you interrupt me while I'm trying to do my intro and it's no, that's not true. Um, what are you what are you fucking what what are you saying? You you saying I'm doing this on purpose? You yeah, saying I'm trying to forget it? Yeah, yeah, you know what? Yeah. It's not important. Right, rated yeah, okay. five stars on iTunes by Jack Lovell. He says, "Very gangster series, homeboy." <laughs> yeah, that is true. we Thanks, uh, lowriders, baby. Hit that whip. I like to do drive-bys and fuck hoes. <laughs> yeah. I like right. to do Lots drugs. Okay, oh. that's, that's a well-known fact. I know. What do you love to do? Same. All right, guys. This is podcast <laughs> episode four. <laughs> everything, is, everything is fine this week. We're all back home, except Jay and Zuckles are still in LA just I don't know what they're doing. I look at Zuckle's Instagram story and most of the time he's just talking about how he hasn't slept in 36 hours and he wants to die. I'm worried about my my two boys. I hope that they'll come back safely and be on the podcast next week. I know um, this sounds crazy, but uh, I think I have a solution to Zuckle's problem. I think that? He, he should sleep. Oh, that's retarded. too easy. That's, t- that's, yeah, that's too easy of a solution. Stupid. Okay. Yeah. All right. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm sorry. I apologize. Consider drinking more or doing lots more drugs so that he'll just get knocked out. That for, works. You know, forty-eight yeah. hours. That's that probably works. the more, I don't know, adult way to do things. Can't wait say? for Mason to get a thousand dollar a day cocaine habit in L.A. That's going to be fun. <laughs> That's going to be fun to watch. <laughs> what a habit, by the way, that he cannot afford. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's the point. <laughs> yeah, that's the point. Uh, yeah, he's got yeah. a thousand dollar a day cocaine habit for fucking two days. <laughs> for like five, for like, for like three seconds. That is, that, that's how, that's how his no, fun he, is. No, he actually told me in LA that he's not going to do cocaine till he's 21. So it's good that he's like at least responsible. Yeah. You know, he's, yeah. he's definitely like, uh, responsible course, individual. He, he said he it to me very that. serious. He's like, Fitz, don't worry, man. I'm not going to do cocaine till I'm 21. I promise myself. I was like, well, it's not exactly <laughs> that. idiot. It's not very comforting. You know? like, God damn. You know, that, but, you know, at least I don't have to worry about it for like another two years. Yeah, another so. two years. You're good. Oh, That's my fun. God. Um, You're right. Well, so. Well, what are we going to talk about this week, guys? Well, <laughs> really, before every episode, we have a small panic attack because we realize that like, <laughs> we're kind of running low on stories. Like, we kind of, you know, we need, uh, need some, some topics. Um, what, what should we talk about? Well, we could talk about all those hot new topics like uh, Fousey Tube. Uh, oh, man. Fousey Tube. There's, uh, there's Fousey Tube because uh, uh-huh. there, were, there were three mm-hmm. parts. There was part one, part right. two, and part three. Of course. Yeah, yeah that I guy, mean, quite a diverse pool of topics, actually. Yeah, this week. really. That guy yeah. is kind of crazy. Um, well, yeah, I don't know if I'd use that word, but uh, you know, right. that was I'd say I should yeah, have said I, that. I would say insane. Mm. It's a little bit, a little bit more uh, politically correct. Yeah, retarded. Yeah, um, no, it, yeah, yeah. Re- retarded. Maybe looks yeah, like I, an I egg. Um, maybe retarded. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, I think that Fuzzy Tube needs genuine help. Uh, oh yeah. yeah, I think I think That's, people yeah. should stop treating him like a messiah, and and mm. and praising him. Uh, the guy I mean, the is thing clearly about on a manic Tube, episode. What I said on Toby's stream, he was watching like the uh, Keem documentaries on his stream. I said like, what did I say? I said, I mean, he's basically just a narcissist, but he's covering it up with like this fake message of like, oh, I'm doing this because I want to promote a positive kind of new way of life you peace know, and like, love and you understanding really? you stupid you beta really? bitch you stupid <laughs> bitch peace yeah. love it's and like understanding kind of, it's, it's it's interesting this crazy balance between um uh, like someone who's trying so hard to look like humble and promoting humility and like peace but at the same time is just totally manic and fucking quite clearly self-absorbed and just wants attention. Now, if I didn't know the guy was having like mental issues, I would have thought it was genius satire because it like <laughs> you can't write it. It's it's hilarious the shit he says. Like uh, really what was um, it? What was it? You're you're heating up your breakfast while I'm heating up my dinner. Dinner. <laughs> <laughs> and then the whole crowd ah! you're, Yeah, Fuzzy! You're you're uh, you're chilling while it's summer while I'm bundled, bundled up, up in the, in the winter. winter. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah, it's too so, good. It's too good. I don't it's know. It's, it's, it's so 
it's so extreme that it's almost at the point where you like there's a bit of doubt where it's like is he is he like yeah. fucking with everyone is this a big troll but then you think back on his history and you're like well no this is just probably another dude what if it, of what, the series no what if it's just like what what if this is all a prank what if this is all a social experiment <laughs> <laughs> what if it's all one big social Ultimate experiment video yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I was over there. I was over there. I actually met Fousey Tube very, very briefly, I might add, before his event. Um, like, I, he, he went up to all of us and he was kind of like, yo, what's up? I'm Yusuf. I'm Yusuf. I'm Yusuf. Shook his hand or whatever. And then he walked away. But let me just tell you, like, even in that brief interaction, he just had this look in his eyes, which was just suggested that he's just kind of not kind of on the same plane of existence as he's thinking yeah. in 4D. So, not in a good way. <laughs> Uh, he's like he's like in 4D. He's really playing. <laughs> he's playing 3D chess, but uh, like but on a 2D everyone chess else's board. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I I would actually love to have like a conversation with him, um, with, with just totally in private, so that there was no risk of him right. trying to like. I don't know, exploit it for his message or whatever, just like a totally mm. private conversation. But then again, I might feel like at risk for my safety if I if I ever did. <laughs> um, I don't think that would be... I don't know. Uh, he needs help. I don't really want to talk about him too much because it's already feels like an old meme. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. It already yeah. feels like no one cares anymore. It's, it's been an um, old meme for yeah. like three years. So yeah. we can move on. Just like yeah, how Speaking of show. humble... I just hit uh, three million subscribers, and um, wow, that's that's really something, right, guys? Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, uh, yeah, sure. Mm. Yeah, good for you. you guys, aren't really that they, you don't sound that enthused about that. Like, it's yeah, kind of, yeah, I'm so <laughs> proud of you. Me. It's cool, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, yeah, you guys sound kind of jealous, to be honest. Really you guys like no, 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 yeah, yeah. no, just fine. Yeah, yeah, good for you. Dude. Second channel's doing yeah. real well. Second channel's hit 600k. Yeah. That's pretty okay. cool. Yeah. Oh, so, cool. so your second yeah, your second awesome. channels had double my subs in yeah. like a month. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, when are you when are you actually a day, but yeah, yeah. Yeah, what are you getting your fucking silver play button on for your second I channel, dude? I'm not even monetizing that channel yet. YouTube, like, I go oh, on the monetization things. YouTube's no. like, you need 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 minutes in watch time. It's You're like, like, oh, like I think I and above that. it, it says 600,000 subscribers and like 100,000 minutes in watch time. It's just like. I've applied, but they're probably not going to get back to me for another month. I still have to wait like like some kind of fucking fresh born scrub. Yeah. So. <laughs> God <sighs> damn. But yeah, that's um, let's go. Well, I mean, enough about me, though. I mean, I would love to sit there and talk about me all day because and I'm, you know, actually, let's do that because I'm sure that's what the people want as well. Yeah. Um, I, I just got a haircut feeling kind of great about myself. Um, you mm-hmm. know, just I've been exercising a lot lately. Um, kind of taking good care of my my hygiene. My teeth are really that's, clean. That's great. Epic. Nick. That's epic. Yeah, Ooh. that's epic. Yeah, yeah it's pretty. Epic. Personal health is like so epic. That's yeah. epic. Um, yeah. Anyone yeah. have any stories about bad personal <laughs> hygiene? <laughs> yeah. Well, that, uh, uh, no. <laughs> no. 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 Just me. No. Is this like a segue for you to jump into something here? <laughs> no, it's too embarrassing. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for bringing it up, needlessly. No, no problem. It's the shortest segue ride ever. Uh, Why don't we talk about the upcoming Germany trip that we're going to embark on? Oh, yeah. Gamescom, huh? Yeah, we're going to Gamescom. I am so excited. We're going to Gamescom, Germany. I mean, this isn't 100% confirmed, but it's like 99% confirmed that we're going. Um, 98.5. 98.5, you know. It's dropping back by the day. Um, 95.3. Yeah, repeat it, of course. yeah. All right. At the end of that. August, we're going to go to Gamescom Germany. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking retards. We're going to go to Gamescom Germany. The, all the misfits are going, including Jay and Zuckles. So that's going to be great. Um, yeah, I'll finally get to we'll see, see his face. Yeah, we'll oh, yeah. I haven't seen face yeah, These guys face don't even know. Ever. They don't know what McCreamy know. looks like. Well, he doesn't no, know but, what I look um, like, so we'll face reveal each other. Sure. <laughs> That'd be so, so beautiful to see. Um, no, but we're going to Gamescom Germany at the uh, end of August. I think like kind of like 20th or something like the 20th is when we're leaving. I think. I don't know. Like it's 20th. I think so. Yeah, 20th. Yeah. I, I, around think, I think we should arrive I have no in idea. Germany. We should probably arrive in Germany around the 20th because I believe Gamescom starts the 21st or nah. the 22nd. Nah. Maybe. I don't know. We'll, 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 we'll be there around that time anyway. Yeah. Um, and I, what I want out of this trip, because we're not only with that, we're hoping that we're also going to go to England for a couple of days for the KSI versus yeah. Logan Paul fight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What we want to do, 
we because yeah we're going to get into that if we if we if we're able to get to england for that we're going to be able to get in um through our network and stuff um what we want to do is get like we all want to rent suits and just rock up in style and just fucking kind of meme it a little bit. I'm going to have my black um, helmet on. I want to play some sick. bets on the fight, you know? Ooh. I mean, that'd be pretty... All right. I want to do that. I Logan, wanna... Paul, Logan Paul goes down third round. <laughs> you heard it here first. I, I, that might be reasonable. You heard it you here know, first. Third assessment. round. Logan Paul, KO. All right. How, how much would you be willing to bet on, on that? I'll bet two grand. Yeah, I'm thinking like okay. I'll probably bet something like that as well. And if I win, I'm going to buy myself a watch. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because yeah. uh, that'd be nice. Yeah. No, but um, you and your watch time. It's gonna. Yeah, what the fuck is that supposed to mean? No, I'm trying to make a joke, <laughs> but it failed. I know. Can you cut that out? Watch time, or, or like, or like bleep it out? Just no, bleep out watch time. Please, don't. Don't. Yeah. just just bleep out watch time so that they don't know what I said. <laughs> so so make it like a mystery. Swagger is really. Swagger is not time. funny outside. Of, uh, Swagger is not time. funny outside the lit. Shut the right. fuck up. You really need to stop interrupting. <laughs> this podcast is a disaster. Oh, yeah. All There's right. There's nothing better. And then after, and then after that, we're going to go to Barcelona for a couple nights for our manager Ryan's birthday. It's actually going to uh, be so, my birthday, too, by the way. Yeah, but assholes. no one cares about that. Yeah, so I what know. We're gonna do I've is made we're it clear that you don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> what I really want out of this trip is to get like 10 podcast stories. It's going to be a bit oh, of a yeah. mission, but I want to get like mad podcast content. We're going to do like a get, lot of drugs. I want to get <laughs> fucked up. I want to like get in some crazy shenanigans. I want to like miss a flight. I want to do it all. You know, I, I really want to have like some good experiences. And I also want to like film some more of it because I want to have like, I'm already starting to think of like ideas for skits and shit we could do, even just like for Twitter videos, which could just be fucking pretty funny. Um, Especially involving fucking with Mason, but don't tell him that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Shave his no, head it's, again. It's gonna be. It's gonna be good. This is the. Uh, I mean, this is episode number four of the podcast, but it's technically the fifth because we called the first one episode zero just to confuse everyone because it was kind of the pilot. <laughs> Which means that hopefully at some point this week this shit will be up on Spotify. We I don't actually oh, know yeah. how slow the process is, but it means that yeah. now we're eligible and we can finally at least begin getting it on there. And uh, we also want to get a YouTube channel set up for Misfits uh, where we can put the podcast on as well. Because I know a lot of people complain about that. And yep. I mean, once we have that, we can really start promoting this bitch and uh, get the uh, listeners we deserve. Although it's still doing really well, like without it. Uh, but, you know, we got uh, we got big dreams there. Um, but yeah, <laughs> want to like contribute guys to... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, you, you said you wanted to talk why, about Fortnite. Let's talk about Fortnite. Oh uh, yeah, let's yeah. We Fortnite. can talk about Fortnite. Oh, by the way, I um, liked your. I liked how you did the uh, the Fortnite video with the uh, the camera oh, yeah. and shit. It that was, was so good. cool. Yeah, thanks. It, a lot of it people, was next uh, level, dude. A lot of people liked it. A lot of people didn't like it. A lot of people thought it kind of like made it seem more scripted, which I can kind of get. Kind of made That's it seem like more set up and staged. Oh, but yeah. I think it was like the reason I did that was because. All of my footage for one of the days was totally like 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 low bit rate for some reason. Like oh, it was like un unwatchable. The audio was fine, but the footage was not. So I was like, okay, I'll just go into all the replays and get like a bunch of shots and put piece together that way. So it I didn't turned actually out do good. It you should totally, yeah, you should totally really do well. that as your new style for your Fortnite videos. Yeah, I think it's good. I think it's different yeah. and stuff, which is always yeah. nice. I fucked um, myself. However, because <laughs> I, I I keep talking about Fortnite being a shit gay baby game. And <laughs> at the same time, I'm trying to get good at Fortnite, and, and I'm playing it way more. I'm trying to play like an hour and a half every day, so that way I can mm -hmm. get better at it. So that when I play with Fitz, I don't die as soon as I land, and then I have to watch them get the fucking yeah. Battle Royale for 15 minutes. So yeah. I figured, like, if I get better at it, I might enjoy playing it more. And now that I'm getting into it, I'm Definitely. actually, I'm actually starting to enjoy it as as a game. Yeah. And I don't know, like, there's nothing better than just like killing eight year olds online. Like that's, <laughs> that's what I look for. It, so, was, it was the same for me. It took me a long time to get into it. Like my first like two videos I made on it, I really wasn't vibing with the game at all. I was just kind of doing it because, like, a lot of my friends were playing it, and it was just kind of I, ha I was almost forced into it to get footage kind of like what swagger right. is now i think um, it's the same with me as well yeah same yeah and i was just like not enjoying it i was like 
uh, I don't think I'll ever like this game as much as CS. It's so hard to be funny in this game. Like, I feel like it's too clunky or whatever. And then, like, I just started taking time to play with good players like McCreamy or Mason or, you know, Daniel Darrison. Um, and I started kind of like playing seriously outside of recording. And all of a sudden I was kind of like, oh, I totally get like the competitive element this game has. Now right. I can totally see why this game is like actually fucking really fun. And basically, the main thing was just getting over the weirdness of building and getting used to building yeah. and shit. Yeah, I started um, building now, and, and now I, I win yeah. most of my encounters. It's it's weird. Like, yeah, going back to PUBG from playing Fortnite, <laughs> it just feels so <laughs> dull. Because oh, Fortnite, Fuck. Fortnite, whether you think it's a game for kids or not, which in my opinion is like a total like, well, Fortnite's a kid game and PUBG's for real gamer men like myself. <laughs> I, I hate that whole mentality. I think it's so fucking so dumb. dumb. It's like just like so fucking stupid. Like Real men don't sue people. other companies for bullshit. Uh, <laughs> I know. It's just and like then drop the lawsuit. It's, it's interesting. Like, yes, Fortnite has a large child audience. It's a free game. What do you expect? It doesn't, but it's also popular because it's just a fucking real solid game. Yeah. Um, well, and, and also all the I was talking, I was talking and, to my friends about it the other day. It is. It's the only battle royale game that is actually polished and like. Yeah solidly yeah. playable well it's you know, genius the, it's genius it has in no the way good competitors it's genius in the way that it it, it operates on seasons so they change mm. up the game every single you know couple of months yeah. so yeah it's not like PUBG where it's like oh here's a patch here's a new gun here's a new map it's yeah. like because Fortnite, Fortnite has the the same map, but they evolve it every season. They have uh, new yeah. like new new like shit. Like they have the fucking meteor, and then now they have the time traveling oh, yeah. fucking Vikings, yeah. and and they and they mix it up and they make it fresh and they keep it and they keep it new, which extends yeah. the half life of the game. And now they're investing in esports. If you told me maybe like a year ago, like uh, wh- how long do you think Fortnite's going to go on for? Like what? How long do you think it'll mm. it'll be for? I'd probably say. Uh, the game had a half-life of like two or three years before you know maybe it starts to fall off but now they're investing a lot of money in the esports scene and if Fortnite goes big in the esports scene you're you're looking at extending the game's half-life by like five years it's going to be around for a while you know, yeah it, the only the only way i could see it falling off before then is if they go like how overwatch did like their seasons or whatever where oh, oh yeah man. let's fucking mm-hmm. let's let's buff the shit out of mercy and then no one wants to play anymore and now overwatch is dead yeah. and no one plays it so i'm worried yeah. you know well, not particularly worried but i i'd be interested to see how in the future fortnite does a season and they and they change the balance of the game maybe like put less of a focus on building and then all the people that are big with fortnite go oh shit yeah i don't like this anymore fuck you you fucked up too many times i'm not playing fortnite anymore and then you know people start to fall off the game and then it's been on the cusp of that a a couple times but i mean ultimately they're pretty good at listening to the community and what they want and stuff and yeah they're pretty pretty fucking smart they're not they're not bad oh yeah oh yeah so, I mean, I just hate how, I mean, it's honestly, it happens to anything that gets po- too popular. It happened yeah. to Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty, great <laughs> show, very solid comedy, got too popular. All of a sudden, like, the face of Rick and Morty is these fucking retards screeching at McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, and it's just like, Pickle it's so Rick. dumb how, like, like, I just wish that fucking, like, dumbass people didn't have to ruin good franchises like that. Yeah. Like, it makes you embarrassed to say, oh, I enjoy Rick and Morty now because, well, like, <laughs> All what people crazy, associate yeah. with it is the meme where it's like, Rick and Morty is for uh, intelligent people who understand uh, intelligent humor. And, um, you know, it's just fucking so dumb. And Fortnite's yeah. got the same thing. Fortnite got starting, if you, it's because of people like Ali A, who are oh, just yeah. fucking like, you know, like, God damn, is he successful, but he's not a good content creator in my estimation. Just kind of like ruining the face of what it could have been where... You know, it just makes it an uncool game to play, which kind of yeah. like, it sucks. I get so many comments now on my videos, which is like, Fortnite is such a trash game, man. Can't believe anyone plays this game. And it's like, I know that they're, I know they're just commenting that because that's what's like popular to comment. You know, like I know that they haven't really given it a proper go. I know yeah. that they're probably like an edgy 17 year old who likes to play PUBG and drink Red Bull. You know, like it's fucking retarded. <laughs> There's nothing stand. wrong. There's nothing wrong with not enjoying a game, but calling a game trash when you haven't given it a proper go is just fucking delusional. And yeah. like Fortnite is not a trash game. I used to really not enjoy it, but even though I didn't enjoy it, I knew it was a really well made, well polished game. Yeah. Like, yeah. That being said, like. I, I really don't want to like 
only post Fortnite or anything. I still like yeah, other totally. games and For I sure. always want to be a variety channel, you know? Yeah. I'm just saying like, I just wish that when I did post it, I didn't feel kind of bad because some of my subs are going to be like, well, here goes Fitz again playing this this game because he wants <laughs> fucking ad revenue. It's like, no, my my other videos do just as well as my Fortnite videos. Go fuck yourself. You know, it's like, yeah. it's just fucking, uh, it's retarded. Anyway. It, it's just yeah. like, I fucking forced myself in that little box by calling it a gay baby game <laughs> when I was on steroids and then doing it again and then you posting it again <laughs> when I'm trying to, to start maybe making some Fortnite content with you guys and putting it on my channel. Yeah. And the thing that's fucked, the thing that's fucked for me is like, okay, I'll make a Fortnite video. I made the 750k you know, uh, Fortnite special because like, uh, I was just like a, to juke my audience. Like no one would have expected it. I'm going to do like, I'm going to meme it and I'm going to like mm. do a lot of self-aware jokes in it and then make it good. And then have that last skit at the end. And then after the fact, like people liked it, 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 it performed well. So I made that other Fortnite video. But the thing is like, just reading through my comments, I don't know if they're serious or if they're yeah. or or if they're like just playing along with the joke that it's it's bad and that I said like people will unsubscribe because a lot <laughs> there's a lot of comments that go <laughs> unsubscribed can I unsubscribe <laughs> oh, like yeah. I think like, most of them would be joking you, but yeah. I, I I don't know it makes me sweat it, it, that's the thing yeah, like no, a lot there, there you know there are a lot of the fans who are like it doesn't matter what you play swagger I will watch any video you make because I love you and I gotta say yeah. I love you too but at the same time it's just like. It's it's weird for me to post Fortnite content after having trashed the game because mm. I thought that the game was oversaturated. I thought, uh, why would I want to make Fortnite content if it's all over the place and people have already seen it? Um, mm. You know, I think that you know Fortnite itself is 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 tailored for kids and that it's tailored for children. There's a lot of memes in it that I, I thought where yeah. I was like, oh yeah, maybe this is a little you know, it's a little distasteful. I don't know if, if this is my kind of game to play. But uh I I, I don't know. Yeah. I, I'm trying to I'm trying to get back into it and I'm trying to to make a, a banger Fortnite video in like the next, you know, couple of weeks. Um I was planning on doing a frag video, like a parody thing and seeing how that goes. But it's it's weird yeah. because even even with like I Notorious, like he he posted uh, one of the probably one of the best videos he's made in like in like a year, yeah, no doubt. Like the Fortnite Freaks video was fucking amazing, and uh, and there you know there are comments on there you know that that are <laughs> just roast Fortnite. Oh like, yes. talk, <laughs> yeah, it's because it's, it's edgy it. to do it. It's it's cool to do it. It's cool to be on the anti whatever's popular train. It's 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 a tale as old as time. You know, it's it's so dumb, but how it's long, just the way things. How are long did you work on that video, Ynet? I think about like over a month. I think to be honest. Yeah, yeah. you were working on that shit for a while. It fucking paid off. The video was good. It's just then there were a lot of people yeah, that good. fucking hate on Fortnite. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's, it's a tough tough spot to be in as a creator. But, you know, I think that, um, fuck it, you know, play what you want to fucking play. And, um, you know, don't obviously go full on Fortnite because that would be kind of dumb. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be uh, Because yeah. we, still, <laughs> we still do enjoy other games, but, you know, yeah. like, I'm still going to post Fortnite every now and then, you know. I, I think I might lessen my frequency a little bit because I'm kind of doing it every other video. But that's just because I'm, as the game I'm playing the most right now. So it yeah. makes sense. But um, yeah, I want to get into Rainbow Six. Dude, actually, my ad rev has been garbage lately. Like my Fortnite really? video, I just posted made like no money. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm so sorry. Tough being me. Tough what? Being me. Yeah. Tough being what me games, with three mil. Yeah. What games do you guys play when you're not trying to make? You know, when when you're not ooh, like intending ooh. on recording yeah, like or, or anything like yeah. that. Start us off on that. Um, honestly, I've been loving Beat Saber recently. I don't know what mm -hmm. it is. It's for VR. It's like, it's kind of like the new guitar yeah. hero. I always joke for VR where the blocks come at you and you swing to the music. It's just it's like, just, yeah, it's, all, it's always fun because there's always new songs, you know? Yeah. And, and you good. can, uh, you can put, like, you can get custom songs on that and stuff, right? Like you oh, can yeah. get community made songs. Yeah, that's what I mean. So it's like always these yeah. community made songs, which so just always got endless content. And it's like just music. That's you really like, cool. So you just it's really good that they did that. That oh, sort yeah, of thing definitely. really increases the shelf life of a game. I think they're also gonna For add sure. a multiplayer to it too. So. Oh, that'd be sick. Plus you can get in great shape. Oh, great. oh yeah that too. <laughs> I I did a I did a Beat Saber stream today 
I did the meme oh, how slide, last? the meme mega mashup, and then fire in the flames. Mm-hmm. Dude, I, I was fire in the flames. I was fucked by the end of it because oh, like yeah. thirty minutes before I started, I had just eaten like uh, a, a medium <laughs> boneless wing platter at Buffalo Wild Wings, oh. half spicy garlic, <laughs> half Asian zing, and like two lemonades. I I was mm-hmm. just burping up spicy garlic, man, and. Oh, holy shit. It was just not good. Like, my, my <laughs> arms were jello. Uh, at one point, I I thought it would be cool to, like, show off how good I am at Beat Saber, and I tried to do a spin mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> in the middle of the song, and I got tangled up in the chords, and, and I was halfway <laughs> falling down, trying to keep up and not and not lose the song, and I ended up losing and, 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 and screaming into my microphone anyways, so it was pretty interesting. <laughs> It was fun. Amazing. Uh, what are you playing? What about you, Stringer? What are you playing? Oh, I play... Uh, I've been playing a lot of Enter the Gungeon. Uh, that was my, mm-hmm. like, go-to chill game where I, still I would... I still try that. Like, I had... I have, like, a like a thing that I do to relax and unwind. Like, it's usually late at night. It's usually, usually like, 3 a.m. This is after I'm done recording with you guys. This is after I'm done editing. A lot of the time, I will... Um, make sure that my father is asleep and then I will go into my room. I will take out my marijuana and my pipe and then I will smoke until I am seeing opened eye visuals and then I go back to my uh, desk and I sit down (laughs) and I go, what do I play today? And then I (laughs) would usually play, I'd usually play Gungeon and I just play, you know, just for like fucking sensory and put it be going like... Like that on my fucking keyboard, <laughs> yeah. and then and then I would listen to a podcast. I listened to the H three podcast, or I'd listen to uh-huh. uh, Joe Rogan or the, the official podcast, and uh, th- that would be my thing. Now I did that with Gungeon, but I also do it. I also did it with uh, Hollow Knight. Hollow Knight's a good fucking game. Hollow Knight blew my mind so many times when I was stoned. The game design is so good on that fucking game, dude. If you haven't played it, I recommend you get it. Because holy shit. They have like these little glass jars with caterpillars in it. And you break the glass jars and then the caterpillars like go down. They're like collectibles. So I find a, I, I'm high as fuck and I, and, I, and I go down to the bottom of this room and I see a fucking caterpillar. So I break the glass and I walk away. The caterpillar morphs into a monster that starts chasing me and it fucking kills me. I was, I, my mind was so fucking blown. I was like, that never, ever happened before. What the fuck? I was sitting there in shock looking at my monitor. Like, was that supposed to happen? Is it a first person game or like a scroller? It's, uh, or like, it's yeah. like a, it's a 2D it's Metroidvania. A 2D. It's a 2D Metroidvania. Really, it's a really? solid game. I recommend you get into it in your spare time. But, uh, that, yeah. th- th- those were like my two main games that I played. Now, now it's just a lot of Fortnite off camera because I'm just trying to get good at it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I personally don't play many games off. I play a little bit of Fortnite off when I'm not like recording and shit, but not that much anymore. I got a PS4 now, so I played through uh, Detroit Become Human, which was how was you it? Know, a pretty good experience. I like that game. I, I, I picked, I picked all the most fucked up choices though. I really <laughs> fucked up just, the story. Just, just, I, just uh, for a junk. Like, nah, like just because I kind of felt like it. Like, well, yeah. I took it seriously. I was like, <laughs> all right. So this, uh, here's what I did. I was like, all right, for like the 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 android lady and the kid i wanted it to be kind of a wholesome story so i kind of did like at right that time although i fucking like i don't know i don't want to spoil the game i kind of i fucking like ruined it at the end but and then for like connor's story who's like the main like uh like uh i don't know what you call him like an, he's like the fbi equivalent of an android he's like the he's like a detective android. i um man i was dark with him dude i was like i made all <laughs> the wrong choices like Fuck. i really fucked up my relationship with hank i like uh i actually killed i him. really want to uh, play through that on the screen <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a great game you should i want to like i kind of regret playing it now because i kind of wish that i saved it for my second channel because like i think it's a really fun game to watch like to do to blind? watch other people play through no yeah not only to do blind but also to it's a good game for youtube because even if you've done the story yourself you still want to watch like other people play yeah. through it so you can see like the other options like you i'm watching PewDiePie play now. It. yeah yeah like it's pewdiepie is like uh series on it is pretty good um but yeah, no, I fucked up this this like, this man. I <laughs> oh. really fucked up the whole revolution. And I mean, it turns out when you make really bad choices and they're a horrible person, like the story isn't that satisfying. So yeah, I think I'll play through it again and um, be a little more wholesome. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, I also want to play God, God of War on that. 
got that lined up. Just got to find the time. Sweet. Right. Yeah. yeah. What have you been playing, John? Uh, Escape from Tarkov a lot. There we was should, recently. We should play a, that on stream. There was a, did yeah, you tweet yeah, out did. recently that you're never playing that game again because it sucks? <laughs> no, no, no. I, I tweeted out saying that I hate it, but it's a right. love-hate relationship. I've always hated it, but I've always also loved it. <laughs> All right. Is, it's, it, is it like a broken game? Is that why? Uh, well, I mean, it's in beta, so it has a couple of... It has it. Like, it's you can't even get it on Steam yet. Like, that's how beta it is. Um, yeah. And uh, so, you know, it has issues, but that's not really the problem. The problem is just that it's so fucking unforgiving. So for anyone who doesn't know what it is, it's essentially like it's like a hardcore first person shooter survivalish kind of game, but you can you can extract, like you can get out of the raids so that you can keep your gear. So the premise of the game is you go in, you kill as many people as you can, you get as much loot as you can, and then you get out with all that loot. And then obviously the more loot you have, the more loot that that you're able to bring into your next raids and the better you'll be equipped. But like yeah. it's it's so unforgiving because there's a lot of realistic elements like like you can get body armor and stuff but if you get if you, you know like you can wear a helmet but if you get shot in the face you're still going to die in one shot and stuff like that it's right. like there's all these elements that make you a little bit better but you can still get completely screwed over by a level one using a pistol. Yeah, well, the you know? fucking like, the fucking meta is to get a shotgun and just aim for the legs because there's like no leg <laughs> body armor, so everyone just yeah. takes a shotgun and fucking caps your knees. And then yeah, and, if, you, and if they don't kill you, then you just have to limp around for the entire map it's because fucked. you're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> I, but, um, I tried. I tried playing it on my own for a while, and the and it's just one of those games where like a very limited HUD. Like it's it's yeah. it's a very awkward kind of game to play, and, and after you empty a magazine, like you'll have two magazines, one in your gun and one you know in your bag. You fucking you have to empty manually your magazine, load the bullets. You take the magazine out, you put it in your bag, and then you have to manually click, 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 click <laughs> up to fucking like however many you need in the bullet. So reloading <laughs> sixty round fucking magazines makes me want to die because it takes Which a really minute to do it. It's it's it really it's slows stupid. down the gameplay. Yeah, it's, I, hey man, I, I, you know, I really like realism, it. bro. If you can't well, fuck with the realism. You're not man enough to play this game. Okay, look, <laughs> if 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 I would play and I would love Escape from Tarkov, if they could recreate it in VR, if they could uh -huh. if they could recreate Ooh. it in VR, so that I could take a magazine out and then just click my a lot bullets of people have said that and do shit like that. Oh. I'd love it. I'd love it a lot more. It'd be a, it'd be a more immersive because they're trying to be immersive while I'm looking at my 2D monitor. Uh, mm -hmm. with, a, with a you know with my wall and my tapestry behind it it's hard to be immersed in a game when you know you're not looking around like v after trying vr it's just like nothing really compares to being immersed in a game than you actually looking around and moving hands and in real time it's actually moving you know yeah. what you're seeing that's why i love skyrim yeah. vr i've never been more immersed in a game than skyrim vr i took that yeah. game so seriously Fucking <laughs> rapid fire, fucking machine gun arrows into a dragon's cock. It's fucking. It's yeah, amazing. real, real serious. <laughs> All I want is for Blizzard to buy the DayZ franchise and just make it a good game, please. Like, Dude, that's what Tarkov's going to be when it's done. It's going to be a good nah, DayZ. Do you reckon? Because it's going to be open world. It's going to be survival, and you're going to be able to extract. It's, there is this. There is I this think one it's going to be a good coming game. out. Which Zuckles has been keeping an eye on. I follow him on Twitter. I can't for the life of me. Oh, yeah, Zuckles showed me that. I can't remember what it's called either. Oh, it's what so annoying. It? But yeah, there is. Oh, fuck. It's some survival game. I don't I don't want to try and find it because I'll be distracted, but um, it's a survival game. It looks similar to DayZ. And um, what's that other game called? That um, It's kind of like a mix of Who's the making original it? H1Z1. And I don't know. It's like some indie company, but like it actually looks good. Like the, the game looks beautiful. Um, so if the gameplay is good, then fucking. Sell yeah. me, uh, fucking sell my body on the street. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like a dick yeah, exactly. for a dollar. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> speaking of um, John tweeting about shit, that was a weird tangent. I, don't, I, I should really start talking about what I get up <laughs> to. Like my dick for a dollar. <laughs> so, <laughs> the fuck? Dick for a I just heard Fitz say John and tweet in the same sentence, and now I'm worried about what he's going to say. Saying, I was going to say, speaking of, because I was just because we were talking about like you tweeted out about something earlier. I thought of just now a really great segment for the podcast, which is called. What's wrong with at John on the radio's Twitter? Okay. <laughs> oh, because like, this guy's Twitter just uh. fucking pisses me off on a daily basis. <laughs> and that, not only because of things like the spelling mistakes, because you make a fucking spelling mistake in every tweet. Uh, you know what I mean? Like you just don't proofread your shit. It's fucking annoying. <laughs> but you also just like overshare the hell out of your Twitter. Like, and you fucking tweet People shit. People like, like it. 
I I don't know if you're right if you're right about that, John. I think fucking yeah, like some yeah. people like it, but it's yeah, a very small percentage yeah, of your followers. A, here's a beautiful <laughs> example. Five hours ago okay. by John on the radio. How do you <laughs> feel about body hair on a partner? Like armpit, yeah. pubic, and leg hair. The places it's common for people to shave. If your partner didn't shave those places or all of those places, how would you feel? A, yeah. I'd like it. B, <laughs> I would ask them to shave. Or C, I don't mind either way. I'm going to go with, uh, <laughs> I would ask them to shave. And okay. I'm 30%. 66% said that they don't mind either way. 66% yeah, that's are, because... are full of shit. Yeah, well, that's why these polls are so fucking retarded. It's because you're never going to get honest answers out of people. People yeah, are either going to pick yeah. the meme option or the option that is just like, you know, neutral. I don't know, the most yeah. neutral. Yeah, it's like the Philip the Fra it's like the Philip the Franco way. You know, you never actually share an opinion. You just say, "I'm going to pass this one off to you guys." You know, like that's <laughs> <interesting>. <laughs> shots fired. Anyway, like I I think that personally, um, it would depend on the person, but you know, like I would probably maybe ask them to shave in like a real nice way you know or like have a conversation about it i mean it's kind of brutal to be like i'm gonna ask them to shave you know? well yeah like that's no, not really you, how it would go down yeah it It'd would be, be like, like hey i prefer it if you if you did this but you know live your life even that <laughs> even that's a dangerous game you know you have to be real careful about that you're gonna have to be like hey uh your pussy very hairy knock it off <laughs> you know that's probably like the way to handle it uh -huh. um, all right scrolling down further onto john on the radio's twitter he says it's so oh wait that's the wrong tweet What's the, what's the one I just found? Oh, yeah. Memes are just a platform to allow unfunny people to feel funny by taking already beaten to hell idea, idea uh, okay. and make a shit joke out of it. You know what right? I say Explain. to that? My name's Jeff. <laughs> yeah. And I replied with that fucking can you don't meme. Because I just thought it was such a fucking dumb tweet. What? Explain yourself. What do you mean by that? I just get sick of everyone posting the same stupid fucking memes and thinking it's funny. Because that's yeah, all memes that's one, are. It's just people that's picking one the hell thing. out of shit jokes. Uh, no, that's Twitter replies in a nutshell. No, that's, that's not what memes are. You know, memes could be like a memes could be something more than just like unfunny people recycling a joke. You know what I mean? Well, I, I'm just talking about what I've seen. I don't know, like from fucking you know PewDiePie's meme reviews and shit like that. Just seeing that shit, it's just like it's just people posting the same shit over and over. No, but it's it's more than that because memes with you like think it's I mean it's obviously trivial and retarded on its most base level, but it also is kind of like they're basically just big inside jokes and people are constantly like pushing the inside jokes to like new kind of um I don't know heights of like they're developing the meme, they're making the meme like something new or they're putting like a spin in it which is actually funny. And mm -hmm. obviously it's only original once, right? So if you're the kind of person who just like posts unoriginal memes and the twitter replies you're you're fucking wasting your time and you're unoriginal and you're unfunny obviously yeah but, you should fucking I mean, die like, of there is, is there is <laughs> there is more to memes than just like memes are for retarded people i can't believe anyone appreciates or understands mm. memes you know like i think that memes there is more importance to them than just trivial nonsense i okay. agree if you guys yeah, no, I, I i i i get where you're coming from have you guys seen Papa Zuck on Twitter? Have you seen Mason's oh, dad? Yes. Yeah. yes. Can we not? Can we not? I love I love Mason's dad I know. on some I just, distant level. Just, but. just this one tweet. This one tweet he he made. <laughs> if Mexican walking fish had arms instead of legs, would they be Mexican push up fish? Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. Thinking emoji. <laughs> oh and then God. under it, he just says, <laughs> "Yeah, you're thinking about that shit now, eh?" <laughs> and, then under that, and then under that, the next well, the next day, he said, "Still swan diving in your head." <laughs> <laughs> Say what you want, but he's oh my god, god. he's one hundred percent Mason's dad. Oh, dude, 100%. yeah, yeah, he is Mason, but but bigger. <laughs> he's fucking ripped. He's so fucking ripped. He's so ripped. Yeah, that's dude, like... he's got a Wakanda tattoo as well. What the fuck? Holy shit! Really. Oh, just he's got like the the neck brace thing that that uh, Black oh, Panther yeah. has. He's heavily tatted. Oh, he's an animal. I, mean, I want to hang out with Mason's dad IRL. I just <laughs> oh, wish that he toned back on like the kind of like try to be a memester on Twitter because it's sort of, you know, I don't know. I think, I think it's hilarious. A bit. I think it's hilarious. <laughs> it is hilarious. I almost want to believe that it's just a big like prank to embarrass his son. You know, like <laughs> that would be so is. funny. Probably that would be is. so funny. But yeah, I don't think Mason minds. I think Mason thinks it's pretty funny. Mason loves his dad. It's ridiculous. Oh, it's course. so funny. 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, Seri- you know. Seriously, iPhone wired headphones can eat a fat dick. Spelt P H A T. What a wholesome mm. Geelong man. <laughs> what a legend, man. I'm just scrolling down John on the radio's Twitter right now and trying to find just, some uh, shit, some dirt yeah, on well, me. Well, it's oh shit. I'm just trying to find the most entertaining one to bring up. You know? Let's look at okay. iNut. Let's look at iNut Twitter. Oh, God. <laughs> iNut Twitter. Very cool. Oh, Mason Twitter would be a good one as well. This is now oh, a react Mason. podcast, guys. <laughs> yeah. Reacting to our Twitter posts. Twitter review. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Misfits, back at it again with another tweet review. That's the way. All right. I'm putting my phone down because I'm distracted. All right. We're at now 42 minutes into this podcast. Do we have anything else to talk about? <laughs> <laughs> no. What do you mean? Did you, was that a drink no. or was that a bong hit? That, that was a drink. He swallowed at the end. I know. No, I, then he I, blew sw- it out. I swallow my bong water. Ah, okay. uh, yeah, I, I get you. It's good yeah, for you. Blow out. Yeah, I blow it out. It's therapeutic. Yeah, it's good. It you joke about that, but nice. I accidentally almost did that my first time. I hit a bong. <laughs> oh no! I was so too hard. How does this work? Gets a bendy straw out. <laughs> a big sip. Oh, you said take a rip. I thought you meant take a sip. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a good joke. It'd be a good thing to write into a script. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, holy shit! All right. Okay, well, you know, man, I really wish that we, um, I mean, we have so many stories that just just that Mason and Jay on here, so we, it'd be better to tell them with them around so they can contribute. We, uh, we have a bunch of stories from Boston from our New York trip, which are unheard, unreleased. What about, what about when you went on the dance floor in Boston? Oh, yeah, that night. Um, what, me? Oh, man. Yeah. And then I you like can dancing. talk about coming home drunk. <laughs> oh yeah, let's talk about that. Let's uh, do that one. So, all right, man. What night was that? That was. Um, I was like the last night. That was the night yeah, before I was left. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was the night before. So me before the patient to New York. <laughs> so context. Um, myself. T- I mean, we were all all of us in the Misfits went to Boston, but Chris was also there, and Chris was staying with uh, me and Toby in an Airbnb, and Swagger and Ina and Mason and Manager Ryan and Sam were in a different uh, place, but. This one night, uh, on one of the last nights, we were going to this, um, it was a club. I don't know what it was for. I think it was something, some was, kind of YouTuber party. Yeah. You were there, right? Uh, Lenovo. Were yeah. Was, I think it was Lenovo. Yeah, you yeah. were there. God, we got yeah, so I know it was fucked there. up. <laughs> when, when you got back, you were drunk as fuck and you threw up oh. in the toilet. And then I, then I vlogged you. Yeah, I could yeah, tell. Yeah, I not threw up. <laughs> oh, God, I'm we got sorry, beyond man. fucked up. That was probably the most drunk. Oh, yeah. yeah, that yeah. Was, it was the most <laughs> drunk I've ever seen you, although I haven't yeah, seen you that drunk. It's not the most drunk I've ever been, but it's, I was fucking wasted. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I was even high or anything. I was just drunk. This, this place was just giving out free drinks. It was free, right? I not, or was it? I, Fuck, I, I think know. so. Yeah, I wasn't it was an open for bar. It. That's yeah, all I was an open bar. Anyway, lots of vodka Red Bulls, lots of Don Julio. Once we found out that was behind the bar, Don Julio, nineteen forty-two, very nice tequila, and um, yeah, but, <laughs> this I cringed so hard when I saw this after. This is one of the many cringe things that happened <laughs> tonight. But uh, there, are, there were a bunch of YouTubers at this event. Um, it was an event. It was a party at a bar, and uh, there was like this dance circle um, where like. I don't know, just like, I think these people were literally hired to just make all these fucking nerdy YouTube white boys feel comfortable. And they were just dancing in this dance circle and kind of like people were going in and busting some moves and they were pretty good. I genuinely think they were hired to like make that the vibe. Uh, I don't think they were actually like just party goers, but um, like my manager, Ryan, who was also very drunk, is like, hey, Fitz, you should go in the dance circle. It'll be funny. I was like, no, I really don't want it. He was like, do it. He pushes me and I've got a drink in my hand. And the floor is real slippery and I like slip into the dance circle like <laughs> on. The, so like, how do I describe this? So like my, my right foot goes forwards like straight and I kind of squat down on my left knee. So I'm like, my ass is off the ground still. And I kind of slide into the circle, still holding my drink in my left hand. It doesn't spill. And then like I, all of a sudden I'm in the middle of the dance circle and everyone's kind of like, yeah, when I like go in. 
And then I just fucking like, I'm like, oh shit. I stand up. I just fucking like start dancing a little bit. And then I just slowly shimmy out of the circle. Like I totally meant to do that. <laughs> and like in my mind, I was like, that was fucking sick. And like, as I got out of the circle, Ryan was like, that was amazing, man. You fucking <laughs> killed it, dude. That was so good. I was like, yeah, I know. No big deal. No big deal. But when I got home, I looked, because apparently a couple of people were filming there, which is kind of uncool, but whatever. They were filming like a little bit in the, uh, in the party. And I just see myself on this guy's vlog because people are t- tweeting me the timestamp. Like in the background, I can't remember whose vlog it was. You just see me, this fucking tall, just white as fuck guy, just fucking busting some moves. And it is just <laughs> not a pretty sight at all. You know, it's just me fucking like, I don't know. There's nothing worse than watching yourself dance when you're drunk, you know? Like, uh, it's okay when everyone around you is drunk because everyone's kind of dancing poorly. But like watching it so good sober like a week later, that was not fun. But anyway, both me and I got real fucked up that night. Um, can you remember what happened as we left that, that party? Um, I remember we were walking out and we were like stumbling along outside the fence. Oh wait, no, that was me stumbling along. Sorry. I remember I Did we go home together in an Uber? Yeah. Well, you and me? What happened was you went home together? Oh my God. Uh, Wait, no. Wait, I was with, uh, I don't see, I don't even remember who we went home with. I remember. I don't think I was with you. I was with Cryos. Yeah. You went home separately from me. Yeah. You went with Ryan. Oh, oh yeah, we went with Ryan. Yeah, did did anything? I remember, I remember you came back white girl wasted. <laughs> tell yours. Tell your side of that night first before I go into my thing. Okay, well, we tried to get an Uber, but Ryan couldn't get the app to work on his phone or something. So then he just goes up to like this cop and he's like, "Hey, can you help us? We're really drunk and I can't like figure out how to get back home or something." And then this cop apparently didn't like that, so he was like getting a bit sketched out or whatever. He's like, "Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and like find something else and like." diffuse that situation or whatever so because he's like a tourist there and he's not from america so and then he just found some random car i think by some two dudes he's like hey i'll pay you like a hundred bucks or something if you can take us to this address and they're just like oh, okay so then we all climb in the back of this cab i'm still under the impression this is like a taxi or an uber or something so we just climb in there and then i'm sitting in the middle seat because i'm the skinniest and then i remember we take a turn at one point and i was just like Yo, I think I'm going to throw up. So then Swagger rolls down the window. I'm like holding myself out the window like a dog. Wait, Swagger was in the car? I yeah. was in there. What are you Were talking you? about? Swagger was going out. back? I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't go with you. I was in there. Yeah. Where'd you go then? Go. Yeah. Swagger was I under was, 21. I stayed, at the, I stayed at the Airbnb. How fucking drunk <laughs> were you? Dude, he was really white have been girl <laughs> Yeah, actually, that's one thing I remember at the night is that I Notorious was constantly saying, I'm so white girl wasted right now, <laughs> yeah. guys. I'm so white girl wasted. <laughs> God. No, I wasn't. I wasn't there with you. That must have oh, been yeah. Ryan and Sam. It was Sam, probably Ryan and there maybe you. Sam. I don't I, know. I stayed at. It was I Sam. Yeah, Airbnb. it was Sam. That's right. How do I confuse you with Sam? Jesus Christ. Hey, we we look very different. Wait, so you you threw up out the window? Did you say? <laughs> no, I was just like hanging out the window like a dog, and we're like going around corners. Uh-huh. I'm just like, okay, I'm fine. I don't feel like I'm gonna throw up. And then we get back yeah. to the Airbnb. I walk in. I sit down at the and table. That's when it for, started. <laughs> I sit down at the table. I'm just like, oh yeah, I'm sitting there. And I look up. I'm like, you know, I think I'm going to throw up. And then I just get up and then, oh, I think I threw up in the sink too, right there. Yep. I think yeah. I made it I, to the bathroom. I'm, oh, I forgot about I'm, that. I'm, I'm sitting there on the table in, uh, in, the, in the living room. I'm sitting there in the living room on a couch watching YouTube videos. And Ina just stumbles in. And, and he's, like, he's, like, he's like, hey, dude, how are you doing, man? How are you? I'm like, I'm, like, I'm good, man. Have a good night. He's like, yeah. Yeah, I had a good night. I had a good night. He's like, hum- like hunched over the sink. Like, like he's washing his hands or something. And then he just stops talking, and I just see him turn white. And he just starts throwing up in the sink. And I'm just like, oh, no. Oh, my oh God. no. Okay. Okay. And, uh, and I think, I think uh, it was Ryan that's like, 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 Matt, Matt, go, go in the bathroom. Like, let's go to the bathroom. Let's go to the bathroom. And then he's fucking walking him over to the bathroom, and he's throwing up in there. And I'm just looking at the sink, and I'm like, oh, man, there were cups and dishes in here. That that is. Oh, that is I, clean it, I clean it all up the next morning. Yeah, so he cleaned that's my it. Yeah, he cleaned it all up the next morning. Yeah, the next Didn't next I? morning when he it already smelled him. smelled like. Yeah, I did start filming. Yeah, you started filming face. me for your vlog. <laughs> he put it yeah. in the vlog. Just eyeing up by the toilet bowl. Just fucking. And you know what's funny is that like. Twitter stands of Ina love those photos of him by like the uh, oh the oh, toilet yeah. or the boat there. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, there's like legit Twitter stands on Twitter who like, look at this gorgeous boy. Like the first two pictures, like real nice photos of Ida. And then there's him just smiling by the toilet bowl. Like, as if that's some kind of like appealing poster up. boy like thing. <laughs> yeah. That's My so side of the story. Funny. I remember, because I remember he was like, uh, I'm going to like, I like, because Ryan was like, you need to take a shower, man. Like, you should take a shower. You'll feel better. And, uh, and I was like, yeah, but I like, and Ryan goes to me, he says, make sure I not like doesn't die in the shower. And I go like, I, I don't want to see his dick. Like, I don't want to see, I don't want to see Matt's dick. And he goes, oh, well, like, we'll have like a towel and everything. But like, I not needs to take a shower. I'm like, can he do it himself? We're like, do I have to help him like get undressed and shit? <laughs> it's like, it's like, no, no, I think, I think he can get undressed. And I, I, you did take a shower for like 10 or 15 minutes, yeah. right? Yeah. And then, and then, uh, then I remember you just kind of stumbled out, and did I think you went right to bed? Yeah, I went right but, uh, to when bed. You, when I you were over down. the, but when you were over the toilet, me and uh, I gave you the iron that you packed. <laughs> me and me and Mason were just fucking with you and opening the door and, and teasing you. We had that all in the vlog. It's all uh, in my packs vlog. I can't oh, yeah. wait for Journey, man. It's gonna be. So, oh, just, dude! I pack your wait. iron, I not pack an iron. <laughs> I still have that iron. I was gonna return it, and I never did. Pack it. Oh my oh. god! Swagger and Zuckles laughed so much when they opened up Inut's uh, suitcase and found a literal travel iron in it, like for ironing shirts. Like, like they just found it so funny that someone would like think to take in a clothes iron with them on a trip. You know, like it is. Well, you, it was clothes funny. irons and and coat hangers. Yeah, yeah. and a uh, like lint roller and everything like that. Like, yeah. man's fully I can prepared. understand that. I can understand the lint roller, so but I can't iron. understand. I can't okay. understand the iron. I can explain the iron. What it was is I was explain looking to buy a, a steamer to like get wrinkles out of your clothes because a lot of times when you throw it in your suitcase it'll get all wrinkled and stuff when you get there finally yeah but who so cares went, about wrinkles because they look uh, bad the modern man swagger yeah <laughs> just fold your clothes <laughs> i don't man, fucking I don't give a fuck well yeah fold well sometimes i'll get like shooken up because i have like a really big suitcase and there's tons of room in there i don't pack like that many clothes yeah with that three days. broken wheels yeah <laughs> <laughs> fucking snapped <laughs> off <laughs> Yeah, so my side of that night was, I had a really great time that night, actually. I was like a really, like, I was really wasted, but I was still very, like, in a good place. I wasn't, like, blackout wasted. Um, so me and Cryos headed home together. Uh, we eventually got bored of the kind of club because a club is only fun for so long. Um, and it's normally only about an hour. And then the rest of the bit is just like, oh, let's go somewhere else because this is really just a bunch of you know dudes dancing uh, but anyway we left the club and we're stumbling up the road and we like call an uber which i think took like 40 minutes to arrive which was painful because it was freezing but you know we were just having like a real bro conversation while we were wasted um which was nice because i've never hung out with crass you know in person before so it was good to have like some you know experiences and stories where he's involved but anyway we head home and uh, Toby's back at the Airbnb. Like, I think were you asleep when we? No, when no, we I was. In? I was lying on my bed, uh, listening to a podcast, and then yeah. I just, I just heard you two come in, and you were like being loud and stuff, and then you're like, "Oh wait, 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 John's sleeping," <laughs> <laughs> and, and I was just sitting there, I was just lying there listening, just like, "All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come out in a couple of minutes, but I'm just gonna listen for a bit because they sound wasted." Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. We really were. Yeah, and then, so then I'm just I, like drinking water and like, you know, kind of, I don't know. I had a lot of energy when I got back. I was still like, I just wanted to talk. And um, I don't know. You tell the story from your perspective, Toby, because yeah, it's so, more funny from your perspective. So I just, I come out and, uh, and you're like, oh, sorry, did we wake you? And I'm like, no, 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 I'm fine. And then, and then you were just wasted and I was kind of just laughing at you. Like, you know, and, uh, and you go, <laughs> wait, can I, can I, can you film me? I want to see, I want to see what I'm like in the morning. And I was like, uh, <laughs> sure. <laughs> so I start filming you. Right. And then, you know, you're just talking to yourself. Like, like just, you weren't really talking to the camera. You didn't really address the camera. You were kind of just like going about what you were doing. And then you go and you, you come up to me and you're like, can I have the camera? And you just take it. And you just start vlogging to yourself. <laughs> like I was, I was vlogging to myself the next morning, like to my future yeah. self the next morning. And I was like saying like, you're going to be so fucking embarrassed when you see this tomorrow. But I'm telling you, bro, like you're fucking like, I was, I, I thought I was infinity IQ. Like it was classic. Like, I was, yeah, it was fucking hilarious. Was like cries like, and I were just sitting on the ground, laughing our asses off. And you were just sitting <laughs> there. You were leaning up against the wall. You had the phone leaning on the wall. So you couldn't see it. 
and you were just like looking at it like trying to stay steady like look bro <laughs> look you're gonna be so embarrassed in the morning but bro you're a great guy <laughs> <laughs> and it's it, it, uh, it was amazing I was like giving myself like a real positive like drunk message for uh, the next morning. Were you, were you calling yourself future me? Yeah, I was sober like, me. Yeah, sober me. Yeah. Oh, sober me. Sober, sober me. me. Yeah, sober me. <laughs> Never ever do this, by the way, because watching it back in the morning was so painful. Like, <laughs> it was oh. so funny. I, I was actually when I first woke up, I was like, oh man, I can't wait to watch that with the guys. That'd be so funny. But as soon as I watched it, I was like, I never want anyone to see this ever because this is. Don't just tell like, me deleted. So, uh, do you still have it? You must still have it. I still have it. Uh, yeah, I didn't tell him to delete it. Sweet. Um, fuck. Can you send me that? Oh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, One thing's for but, sure. That is never going online without my yeah. consent. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. There was, a, there was a point where I was like, you, you guys should have some water, right? And you, you're drinking your, out of your drink bottle. And I was like, you know what you should do? You should, you should fill that up so that in the morning, and you should put it in the fridge so that in the morning you have some water. And you're like... Oh yeah, and then you start filming yourself filling up this bottle of water, <laughs> and you're like, "Sober me, you're gonna thank me so much in the morning for this." <laughs> it's so funny. And I then, love. Uh, um, I always think that way when I'm drunk and I get home. I'm always like, I'm "Gonna brush my teeth so sober me is proud of me tomorrow." Like I always think that way. I'm like, "Gotta brush." Got to make sure I do all the right things before I go to bed so that tomorrow morning, I'm like, thanks, drunk me. You know, <laughs> it's a real connection that the two of us have. Awesome. There was a point where uh, where Cryos went to bed and you like, you went into his room. He was lying in bed and and you were like, hey, I'm going to help you, all right? And and you go <laughs> to, over to this, you turn off, they turn off the light and then you turn on this lamp beside his bed. And it's like one of those lamps where you have to reach up under the light bulb and kind of push a button there. And you were explaining to Cryos how to turn the light off when he wanted to go to sleep. And he, he, he knew exactly how to do it. He was just laughing at you. And you're like, so, so you, you lift your hand up and, and you push this. I think I was, was, I think so I was aware funny. that I was being funny. Yeah, when I, did that, I think though. you were think as well. Yeah. But yeah, that's so It was hilarious. hilarious. Oh. Uh, drinking. Drinking problem. Alcohol. <laughs> Swagger is great when he drinks. I love, like, we don't actually, um, see swagger when he's like wasted that much oh but dude when, one time we were, in, we were in auckland together like when swagger drinks his energy levels are so different to when he's stoned like he's a real energetic like g kind of person i love you drunk Thank i really want to get you just drunk more often yeah, i'd be fine um, i'd be fine with just drinking i like i like just drinking because with like usually just because of the the way that i am Whenever I'm at a party, there's usually weed as well as alcohol, so I like to mix the two and get yeah. cross faded, and it's uh, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> but at the same time, like if I'm at a party, like if I'm going to like a frat party or a house party or a club or whatever, I usually just want to just get drunk, because um, yeah. when when I'm drunk. Social anxiety just goes right the fuck away, yeah. and I am just like uh, I'm, I'm like the life of the party because it's just it's a it's, exactly. and I, I'm like I'm like ooh what's a good joke and then I'll think and then and then I'll say a joke and then people will laugh because everyone's drunk and they don't know yeah. that the joke that I said is actually horrible so it makes everybody yeah. feel good but when I I'm when I same, when yeah. I just smoke and go to a party super awkward super tense super uh, anxious just not vibing with it you know loud yeah. music fucks with me uh and when i'm crossfaded it's like a mix of the two where i'll be uncomfortable and awkward but i'll also be really energetic and talkative so it just <laughs> doesn't work it doesn't work <laughs> at all because then it's just some yeah. awkward drunk guy talking to you trying to be funny and holy shit dude it, <laughs> it is a mess still get laid yeah. though yeah i still get laid i hate being drunk I love being drunk. I just feel uh, super uncomfortable the whole time. Like even if it's like a, the tiniest, tiniest bit drunk, like just a little bit buzzed, I just feel super uncomfortable and anxious, and I hate it. We need yeah, to get you. you were great fun when you were high in Sydney, though. You were a great. Yeah, fun. when you was, were just high, when you just took like a little bit of rips. Yeah. Oh my god, when you were in that little spinny he chair, was pretty high. <laughs> just doing yeah, voices. No, like I am the rat yeah. king. I think for you, what you <laughs> what you need is like you just need a controlled environment when you're like like that because otherwise you yeah. just feel out of control yeah. exactly. and like, if you were walking yeah. around like out in the street in that state you probably would have like had a yeah. panic attack because oh, yeah. it just like you'd feel like oh no like a million things could go wrong everybody yeah. knows you're I'm just high. like in an airbnb everyone knows i'm high <laughs> yeah 
Oh man. Yeah. Fuck. Like, I just can't tell you how excited I am to hang out again in Germany. Dude, it's gonna be yeah, dope. It's gonna be a good time. Can't wait. It's gonna be so dope. I really want to make the most of that trip. It's gonna be a good time. Weed laws are extremely strict there. Yeah, it's a problem. In Germany? Yeah. Like in Germany specifically? Yeah. Weird. Like how? In what way? Uh, I I don't know. I just heard that it's really strict. Huh. Okay. Well, we'll be careful. <laughs> Turns out we're like on the news in like a month. Now. <laughs> Popular Either YouTube way. group known as the Misfits arrested in Germany for cannabis. Deported. <laughs> Deported. <laughs> Gonna have to do the podcast from prison. Oh, that'd be fun. <laughs> from the U.S. Embassy. <laughs> um, no. Okay. Cool. Well, I mean, we're at about an hour. We could we could end it here. We didn't really have that much to talk about this week, so hopefully you enjoyed kind of the free range. Rambling. I think it was good. That was good. Yeah, that was pretty good. Um, hopefully, Mason and Jay will be back next week. Uh, we'll have some stories from them, and uh, yeah, very soon. Obviously, we'll be in. Uh, we actually got to prepare podcasts in advance for when we're away this time. So that uh, we'll oh yeah. Gap. But uh, yeah, like things, uh, things will be things will be moving forward rapidly here. Mm -hmm. Excited, fantastic. We should we should definitely oh. look into getting Mason and Jay for next next week. Yeah, yeah. no doubt. No doubt. Right. Let's pressure them. All right, this has been the Misfits podcast. We've been, uh, I guess, we've been the Misfits. And, uh, <laughs> go bit. fuck yourself. Yeah, go fuck alligator. yourself. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck Bye. you. Go, go, go fuck yourself. <laughs> oh man. <laughs>